so want to go across the oh, pond? Oh, God, I knew it. I recognized it right away. Recognize that what? Stupid outfit. Like I know when it's like real cops versus British ones. Mm. Are you say, are you saying British cops are not real? No, they don't carry guns and they dress like crossing guards. So, British cops are. I, I don't even know. Like, I explain to me. Maybe one of you British fans can explain to me. Why do you even listen to the cops over there? Like, what? What can they really do to you? They dress like crossing guards. They're all like these pasty looking. Crooked teeth, overweight, hunched over like British guys. They look frail, and they don't carry guns. What, what like, for instance, for example, right? Our cops drive tanks, carry military style machine guns, and call in helicopters to shoot unarmed black kids and your <laughs> home pets. Right? Like, our cops fucking shock and awe, fear and terror. Why do you guys listen to your cops? Like, I know why people listen to our cops. I know, I know why Americans are like, okay, 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 okay. Can we have cops somewhere in the middle? Like, warrant, warrant or no warrant? You can search the house. It's fine. Please don't, Please don't kill, kill me. me. And then, but you guys are always like, oh, I don't understand why I have to comply with this, Tom. And they're like, well, Tom, uh, COVID, Tom. Uh, here's a, a harum harum for writing you a summons, Tom. Tom. Tom, the police is here. Tom says we're getting a summons, Tom. And it's like, you guys just, and it's like, then you find out they don't even have guns. And then you see these videos of these African uh, migrants in there that, like, literally, like, it takes, like, 11 of you British cops to take down one of them. And it's like, again, with us, at least it's like, there's a helicopter over your house. They're yelling at you on a megaphone. There's floodlights blaring in every window of your house. They're playing rock you like a hurricane. They're just lighting up your house with bah, nah, guns. Nah. Bow, bow. Yeah, <laughs> fucking tannerite and fucking depleted uranium rounds. The fucking cops are dressed like futuristic stormtroopers. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Why do you, I don't, just don't get why you guys listen to this dude here. Okay, but see, this is what happened. This person got in trouble. Because uh, this, they had a they had a bumper sticker that says COVID nineteen is a lie. That's it. I wish there was more. Sorry, you're under this arrest, is the face Tom. of police harassment in 2020. There's only one silly <laughs> here, mate, and it ain't me. Is it not? No. Hey, what, John? Hello. You all right? Just come to speak to you about the sign that you're going back in. Yeah. You all right? Just come down and have a chat with me. Well, we can talk here, can't we? Yeah, no worries. Um, See what I mean, though? You know, you know, what I mean? like you can't do that in America. No. Now I'll stay here at the window and we'll talk right the here. The fuck you will. Well, all right, then. <laughs> like, that's all they do in America. He would have shot him immediately. He would have fell out of the window, and then they would have just put a knee in his back, and been like, "Okay, so now can we talk about the sign in your car?" And you're like, "Ow, I'm in a lot of pain." <laughs> Is it your car? Yeah, it's my car. What's your name? Is there a problem with it being in the car? It is, yeah, it's an offence. It's an offence. Is there? Yeah, it's a public order offence. And could you tell me under what section? It's, it's, it's a section of five public order offence. Yeah, but under it's section. It's likely to cause. God, they all, they all look like fucking Simon Pegg movie characters. Right? <sighs> Don't they all look like Shaun of the Dead? And yeah. Like they, and what was that other one? The Hot Fuzz? Hot Fuzz. They all just look the same over there. You British people. I I think we could all agree, right? Like you, the British people are finished; <laughs> they're done. It, it's it's give funny. it up. It, it's funny because the, if it, it's funny you brought up Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz shows you how bad like the UK's police force is. That they actually had to at the end of it give them all guns to make the movie cool. Remember Hot Fuzz at the end? The whole because like the whole point of the movie at the end was them loading up guns and shotguns and double shooting in the air. It was like because if not, what was it going to be? And somebody in the chat says Mersh. Apparently, Mersh hasn't been on the receiving end of a stern talking to her. You'd respect him a little bit more. I'd like you to come down here, please, so I can finish talking to you sternly. No, Tom. <laughs> I won't be doing that, Tom. Well, all right then. To anybody, <laughs> then it's an offense. Are you alright to come down? No, I'm not. No, come chat to me there. Is it your car? Well, what does it matter if it is? What's your name? What does that matter? Because you've committed an offence, I need to know what your name is. I've committed offence. Well, that's your car. Is it my car? You said that your car. You've asked me if it was my no, car. I said yeah. This is the face of police harassment in 2020. So I've got cases against the police, so I suspect you're just here to continue that further harassment, mate. The it's not even my car, mate. I ain't even put petrol in it in like a week. Don't, it's gas. Don't say. I hate. I hate them. Petrol. 
I put four liters of petrol in it earlier. <laughs> but they still do miles per hour. They're so fucking weird over there. Oh, that's fucking assholes. So, yeah, the only thing that he did was uh, have a sticker on his car that says COVID-19 is a lie. That's it. But did it say COVID-19 is a lie? Man. Skip here, and, and I'm going to have to, I actually have to politely disagree with him. Skip goes, Britain is Finnish because we always follow the U.S. No, 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 no. When it comes to woke stuff, we've been following you guys, okay? Do you know how many times I've heard from people in this country, the lefties, especially Bernie bros, like, have you seen how different Europe is? Europe is so different, man. If we were only like them. Actually, like I'll one up you, Royce. How about this, Skip? No, you know what? I disagree with Royce. Skip, you're right. You you guys founded this country. Uh, remember the sun never sets on the British Empire? You guys literally rule the world. And yes, you're correct. Now you follow us. So follow us, boy. <laughs> follow us into fucking Armageddon, boy. You fucking big-eared, crooked-toothed asshole. <laughs> Tom? Sorry, Tom. We've got to wait on the Americans, Tom. But wait a minute. Didn't we found America? We did, Tom. But we got our asses kicked, Tom. Turns out every time we get in trouble, Tom, we need the Americans, Tom. So it's not... And you just gave Taiwan back. <laughs> a bunch of fucking losers. Yeah, seriously. You guys, literally, if you fucking, if you assholes could hold on to even fucking one mile of land, <clears throat> if you weren't so good, if you weren't giving up more yards than the fucking Chiefs were in the Super Bowl this year, okay, we'd still have British Palestine. We'd still have British India. We'd still have all these amazing colonies around the world, but no. You're fu you know what you are? You're Patrick Mahomes with a fucking grass-stained jersey. That's what you are. Just giving up yards, getting fucking sacked every play. <laughs> Not caused anybody any offense, distress, or alarm. You're just here to harass me further. After it's likely. As usual. It's likely to As usual, mate. Well, I know the drill by now. Somebody pointed out, too, yeah, the English were defeated by Gandhi. Yeah, by the way, they were defeated by Gandhi without firing a single shot. Literally, you guys got defeated by, by one Indian who just one day said, what if we just did not go into work? What if we just took vacation time? And British went, well, I guess we give up then. I guess we've got nothing to do here. Let's get out of here. The Indians don't want to go to work, Tom. <laughs> well, I guess we should leave, Tom. <laughs> uh, the Jacob Scott Show says in the chat, is a person that's fighting the cop Paul Joseph Watson? It might be. <laughs> it actually might be. That's very funny. Oh, I'd like you to know, sir, that I had sex with Ashton Birdie, and that gets me out of the ticket. Are you still on InfoWars? <laughs> No, uh, Alex doesn't talk to me much anymore. Mm, okay. Does he have a map behind you? He doesn't like being upstaged. Harassing you? Well, you aren't harassing me. Harassing you've, you? you've come here. I've come here because you've come here. Somebody, okay, this is great. Somebody, I got to read this. Somebody's doing UK insults. Your mom is so fat, she weighs 20 stones. Any <laughs> <laughs> offense? You're alleging that I've committed offence. I'm here on a lawful, lawful reason. Yeah, well, you were, you Your wallet is so fat. No one knows. She ate a thing of fish and chips and then it feasted your face and it tied blood pudding. She did, yes. You're all right, she did. It tied blood pudding in one thing. You saw it. Never, never trust a country that has beans for breakfast. That, that's that's for me. That's, that's, that's one of my rules. I she ate an entire can of beans for breakfast and then had an entire blood pudding pie and the tuppence and What? You people stink. I'm tired. I'm tired. You know what it is, man. And if it, you know what it is, why I hate English people, because you're like Texans. You're so smug, right? But really, when people start peeling back the layers, there's not much to you. Other than your smugness, like this, Texas and England are the two places that just have this fucking pride. And then when you really go, well, what are you proud of? They're like, it's all stuff that happened in the past. This is nothing to be proud about now. Like the Alamo. Wait, but didn't you lose at the Alamo? Yeah. You know, like JB has another UK joke. Your refrigerator is so broken that your beer is cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love UK insults. They're the best. Uh, yeah, you, you, your your mother's uh, uh, got an air conditioner in an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have those here. <laughs> that an offence has been committed. Evidence back here, 
I don't need to allege anything. The whole point in having a By place the way, is even to... your electrical outlets are all wrong. What's wrong with you people? <sighs> Everything. Yeah, guys, their electrons You just are... fucking stink. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Force the will of the government, isn't it? Really? It's the will of the people. No, it's the will of the government. Not the government. Yeah, it is. Well, the will of the people is the government, fucking crossing guard. Because not all people in this country support the government. Not all people think it's legitimate in this country. What? The coronavirus thing? The existence of government and the police. Right. Well, I'm here, so I exist. Do you, do you work? It's yes, irrelevant. But, uh, I have to ask you, officer, do you have a gun? Do you have any gun or any sort of backup? It's funny how, how this, because we have a lot of UK listeners. Some of them are getting a little defensive. We make fun of America more than any other country. But I think it's funny. Somebody says, yeah, because our outlets are actually safe in the UK. Your wiring is from like the fucking 18th century. So they're not that safe. And I don't need a fucking license to watch TV here. I could just turn TV on. Everyone has a good time till it's their turn. Yeah. And they're like, hey, wait a minute. You were, <laughs> you were making fun of everyone else. And I was okay with that. But I didn't leave you out. The fucking English rose or whatever it is. The fucking fuck you guys. <laughs> Florida has been the butt of the joke in this planet for so long. It's ridiculous. We've been made fun of more than anybody. You guys still have a queen. I don't want to yeah. hear it. Mm -hmm. We do. We also have a queen as well, but it's Lindsey Graham and it's a different kind of queen. Yeah. Like, yeah, your country's run by a royal family. Okay, I get it. Our country's run by Jewish pedophiles. I get it. But at least it's Hollywood, and at least they they actually contribute to our economy, not fucking suck it dry. <laughs> at least they make hit television shows. Hello? Who do you follow orders at work? I follow nobody's orders so but my own. Are you, are you your own boss, are you? I am, yeah. Oh, good. How are you finding it in these... Time to your work, you know, you excellent, mate. There's no difference work. in terms of my life before or after. Oh, that's good. You understand why it's a public order offence, don't you? I, I am not aware of any offence being committed. Stop being silly. Who's being silly? This is a this is by the way, this is a blowout fight. Yeah. This is a blowout fight. If this were an American cop <laughs> and an American. <laughs> The N word already been would have been, yeah. been uttered five times, and 40, 40 rounds would have already been fired. This guy's dog would be dead. Him. Yeah, it would be terrible. This and guy, this is this <laughs> cop would have shot so many rounds by now that he would have had to <laughs> reload. <It's> just... <laughs> and you can tell because this this guy that's fighting with the cop is one of those you know sovereign citizen people. Our sovereign citizen people are fucking wild. You guys are very calm. Yeah, it's like, am I being detained? Huh? Yeah, am I being detained? Ours like act like Randy Marsh's dad, uh, yeah. Stan Marsh's dad, whereas <laughs> these fucking guys are just, well, you're being silly. Oh, you're being silly, Tom. <laughs> silly? Yes. There's only silly. one silly <laughs> here, mate. <laughs> I love it. I love the cunt. Look, can we, okay, can we give, I want to give the UK something. Boy, do they love the word. Mm. That's a great one. You guys have to use it all the time, and I like Way better than bitch. It is you guys great. get that. I give you that 100%. I give you. But I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But Australians even do that better. So I'm not even giving them that much. Because Australians are better with the. Which are the ones that lost the war to the birds? Was it Australians it or New Zealand? Australians. Zealanders? New Zealand. Yeah. Which one of you guys lost the war to birds? And then the English lost uh, a war to <coughs> literally every other creature on the planet. Yeah. No. And it ain't me. Is it not? No. It, it's the one wearing a dress-up uniform, thinking that they've got some bloody authority here. You and you ain't, mate. So, That's right. It's the one dressed up like a 1950s cab. <laughs> it's the one dressed up like the cartoon taxi from Roger Rabbit. You're the one who looks like an asshole, mate. What a fucking reference. You fucking... He's you, you, you he he dressed it. like Benny the taxi. <laughs> Uh, I'm not the one dressed up like a cartoon taxi cab smoking a cigar. <laughs> You're the one who looks like a fool, mate. Are you off now? No, no, I'm not. Why? Who you are? Have you got any ID? Why are you still stood in my garden? Because I'm here on a lawful business. Well, what we're gonna do? We'll just let the, the magistrate decide. What it's magistrate? It's not up to me to decide. It's not up to you to decide. So what we're gonna be doing is reporting you for summons. So you're gonna go to court about that. So if you claim you know who owns that vehicle, issue them a summons and they can answer it in court, mate. What if whoever owns that car is Muslim, eh? 
Well, if he's a Muslim and a African migrant, then you can't arrest him, can you, Tom? They not only that, they'd be apologizing to them. Now you have to make him mayor, Tom. <laughs> make this black man mayor, Tom. The whole point is that I don't know who you are. You, you don't need to know, know who I am. What if I told I you that car belonged to a Pakistani Tom, what would you do then? You'd probably just let him go, wouldn't you? Yeah, mate. Yeah, you would, mate. You would, mate. I'll have you know my cousin's a Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Did I say that it was my car? Or I meant to say that was my neighbor's car. Oh, he's a Pakistani who rips children and runs around acid attacking people. So uh, good luck giving him a ticket, eh? <laughs> <laughs> This car. Right, so is it the owner of the vehicle who's committed an offence? Right. Is that what you're saying? Oh, dear. That's what you've just said on video, mate. I love that the cop's acting frustrated, like he's the one that should be frustrated. You said Greybeard Millennial is a good point. All the tough Brits came to America or got sent to Australia 250 years ago. This mm. is what's left. <laughs> it's just, it's all, it's all the ones that were liberal 300 years ago and went, why don't we get rid of all these roughnecks? Give it all these criminals and all these longshoremen, eh? And they just got rid of all these fucking... Get them out of here. And then what was left was, yeah, these guys that were like, oh, I politely disagree. Oh, I politely disagree, Tom. The owner of this vehicle has committed an offence. Because I have. Yeah, well, go and do it, mate. Go and do it. Issue the summons to the owner of that vehicle and get out of my face. Stop harassing me. You are. You're making me feel distressed and alarmed. They don't sound yeah. like real people. They don't. They, it's cartoon right. people. They, they sound, sound like, like cartoon. cartoon people. Yeah. If you know who owns that vehicle, issue him a summons. Right. And that's do, it. Are you going to do two minute silence for VE Day? Huh? What? What's, I'm sorry. I guess I should know what VE Day is, but I don't really follow you guys. Totally a little known fact. I don't know if you guys know this. This cop here. Um was actually the homecoming king of his high school and he won uh, four male beauty pageants. He won the Mr. Olympia for Mr. I could see England. It. I he, could see it. He was four time uh, yeah. Mr. Liverpool because that's that's the hottest guy they have in England. A VE Day is Victory Day in Europe where they celebrate the end of World War II. So that's what their thing is. Oh right, yeah. Cause that was a victory. When you say it like that, I don't believe you. I'm a f no. Go on then. Somebody says the cop was Mr. Teen Manchester. <laughs> Mr. Teen Manchester. <laughs> Listen, I know you were a beauty queen, Tom, but this is no time for this, Tom. Bye. You've got to show respect, haven't you? No, no, you don't. Of course you do. Respect is earned, mate. You've got to respect respect is earned. Our lives, haven't you? No, they didn't. They died on orders of the government, just like you. Yeah, That's get, right, get back in your van. Get in your electric Amazon van and get the fuck out of here. Have fun getting acid attacked <laughs> later back. by Africans, eh, Tom? Get back in your fucking van, you loser. It's literally an Amazon delivery van. It's the same van. Beat it, meter maid. And then he goes and reaches into his cop car. They're doubling up as Amazon guys, too. So then the cop walks back. He has to awkwardly walk back over here in a minute and go, Hello, Tom. That's it's me again. Um, do you know uh, where apartment uh, H7 is? Because <laughs> I've got, uh, so I, I believe, some coasters, Tom. <laughs> he just switched the vest to an Amazon vest. <laughs> and they go, Why the police? Oh. Delivering Amazon packages, Tom, and he's like, well, because people are ordering butter knives on Amazon, Tom, and the cops have to come deliver them so we can verify age. You guys aren't allowed. We can't have people buying spoons all willy-nilly, Tom. <laughs> you guys can't have butter knives. Yeah, you guys fucking suck so, it's so bad. so bad. You guys suck so bad. Remember the, the kid that got in trouble a few years ago because he couldn't buy a pumpkin carving kit for Halloween? Like, it, the, the things that fucking people do over there. Dude, you could shoot somebody in a dispute at a bar in Florida, and the cops will show up and go, knock it off. Beat it. I don't want to see this shit again, okay? <laughs> Next time I come here, people are getting arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's just sitting there holding their arms. And he's and apologizing. Ah, ah, <laughs> the other one's going, I was a mistake, man. It's fine. And they're like, look, we're going to get some EMTs out here. Knock the shit off. 
All right. I'm coming back here in an hour, and I swear to God, if somebody else is shot, people are going to jail. <laughs> Be like, sorry about that. <laughs> Put that joint out. At least, at least wait till I pull away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. And it, take Tom Petty off the jukebox. <laughs> I don't want that playing when I come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys can't no. even have spoons. You guys fucking stink. 